Hey guys, it's Friday and that means it's another Katie Hespi Trader Joe's taste test. This week we have a ton of new goodies and I'm excited because it's a rainy weekend here in California and I'm ready to kind of like snack and sit on the couch and eat goodies. I don't know about you guys, but that's my idea of a good time. Um, so I'm gonna share with you guys a couple sneak peeks before we jump into the haul. I have these, which are all over Instagram right now. They're the dark, dark chocolate drizzled plantain chips sprinkled with sea salt. I mean, I can see why they're on Instagram. But one thing I don't understand why they're not showing more of are these, the new vegan sprinkled cupcakes. Um, hello, uh, there is a little sidebar to these, so you gotta watch the haul to find out a little bit more about these, this particular product. But you know, I'm gonna go into all of it. And I also wanted to give a shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you also for giving my videos thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It helps get my videos out there so that more people can see it and join our channel and our little YouTube fam. So thank you guys so much for doing that. You guys know the drill. Let's check out this week's Trader Joe's haul. I'm starting right here with all the frozen items. I wanna put those away after I show you guys so they don't melt and then become one big clump, which happens often. So, broccoli florets, a staple every week in my house. Also, the organic rainbow cauliflower. I love this cauliflower. I put it, I showed it before in another video where I put it in my ramen and I still to this day do that. I love adding this cauliflower to ramen and actually I've been doing broccoli too. But these are staples in my house. I eat them all the time. Another staple that actually we haven't purchased in a little bit are these sweet potato fries. So I love these in my air fryer. They fry up so nice and it literally takes half the time to make, but they're the best, best, best sweet potato fries and they go perfect with a burger. And speaking of burger, let me just take you over here real quick. I showed this last week. This is the Magnificent sauce. It's a tangy sauce of secret proportions and um, I got it a little bit early, but it's now officially out at Trader Joe's, but it is fantastic on a burger or even as a dipping sauce. So if you wanted to put it on your burger and then dip your sweet, sweet potato fries into it, that is an idea right there. But I just wanted to remind you guys that now it is finally out on the shelves at Trader Joe's. So I also grabbed some breaded mozzarella cheese sticks. So I don't buy these very often because they don't last very long. They're very delicious and um, kind of like a treat at our house. So I got them for Tim mostly, but you know I'm gonna have some too. Um, and then another item that I haven't purchased in such a long time is the chickenless mandarin orange morsels. These are vegan and they're so, I don't know, I've been dreaming about them. I just keep thinking about them, so I finally picked them up, and I think it has to do with the fact that um, the number one item that got ranked for Trader Joe's is the mandarin orange chicken, the regular one, and ever since I saw that, I was like, okay, I need to get myself some orange chicken, and I love, love, love this meal with some white rice, and I grabbed some white rice, of course. This is the organic jasmine rice. It comes in three bags that you just microwave for three minutes. This is a definite staple. I buy this all the time. I do make my own white rice as well, but I'm telling you, it never, ever, ever tastes the same as it does in this package, and I've talked about it before, but this white rice is so dang good. So I'm gonna be making a meal of this, with the mandarin orange chicken and probably some broccoli as well. And that might even be my meal today because that sounds amazing and I've been really jonesing for it. So that is all the frozen. I'm gonna take a quick break, put it away, and I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, so clearly I spoke too soon. There was one more frozen item and it's actually a brand new one. It's the heart-shaped macaroons. These are the cutest thing. They're actually, like it says, shaped like a heart. These have vanilla cream with strawberry center and raspberry cream. There's eight macaroons in here. I am so excited to try these in the taste test. Um, these have sold out so fast, you guys. If you're a Trader Joe's and you see them and you want them, get them now. Grab a couple boxes if you want more than one because I'm not kidding you. We got 10 in the other day, 10 cases. And by two o'clock when I got there for work, um, we were sold out, uh, we weren't sold out, but we had two back boxes left, and by the time we closed, they were completely completely gone. So these are a really popular item this year um, because they are brand new, and they're so cute, and they're macaroons, so I mean, how could you not? Um, here's the facts on the back. 
There is two macaroons per serving at 130 calories, and then here's the rest of the facts here. This contains milk, egg, soy, wheat, and almond, just for anybody that has any allergens. And there is the ingredients. All right, moving on. So I grabbed some light string cheese. This is another staple that we get every single week. Um, brand new cheese that just arrived. This is a British mustard and ale cheddar cheese. We are trying this in the taste test and poor Tim, it's a mustard item. So, you know, you're gonna get a funny face on this one. Um, I'm excited for it though, it sounds good. And we just made homemade pretzels. I shared that on my Instagram. Um, and I think these would be really good with the pretzels, just kind of slicing a little bit on top and heating it up and letting it melt over the top. I definitely want to try that with the pretzels. So we will be trying this in the taste test if you guys want to see how it tastes. And then one other cheese I grabbed are the mini brie bites. These are the soft ripened cheese. There's five servings in here. They come in these individual little bags. And I just had a hankering for these last night. I got home late from work and um, I they were calling at me. They're like, so I grabbed some and I actually had one last night with some bread. I love it. I love brie with soft bread, so that's what I did. Um, but I haven't bought these in years and I used to buy them all the time. They were delicious and a great little snack. Um, so I got them again and they did not disappoint. So if you guys are looking for these, they're in the cheese section. Now to move on to some other favorites that I have. So the Mid East Feast, I don't buy this very often because it is a little on the pricier side and um, there's one that I don't eat in this quad here. I don't like this one. It just tastes too vinegary. I don't know, it's just not my, I'm not a fan of it. But this one is my favorite. That is the um, lentil salad tomato cracked bulgur wheat. You guys have given me great recipes for this, by the way, and I still have yet to make it. I need to, um, but I also love that it comes with the hummus. It comes with some dolmas, you guys can see, and this is just an all around really convenient little four pack that when I'm hungry and I don't feel like making food, I'll just grab this and I, I can make like two or three meals out of this too. Fantastic, love this. And if you guys just want something to snack on, this is your gal right here. Now, my favorite salsa is back, thank goodness, because the other day we didn't have it so I couldn't buy it. And I got the other salsa I used to love, um, which I still do and it's great. But this is fantastic. Every morning Tim makes us breakfast burritos and I love the salsa on it. Super fresh. I love the size. Like they dice it just perfect, and it just reminds me of like restaurant salsa. The flavor is amazing too. Not spicy at all. I got some regular hummus dip. I'm normally a Mediterranean hummus girl, but guys, so many of you guys recommended sprinkling this zatar seasoning on this hum or on hummus in general, and I did try it with the Mediterranean hummus. And let me tell you. It totally kicked it up a notch. I am obsessed and now I'm like buying plain hummus so I can just add a ton of this. And I'm not kidding, I added a lot. It totally flavors it, it makes it delicious and I'm just gonna keep doing that. So I'm hoping this seasoning is year round because I'm definitely gonna be going through this with all the hummus that I'm gonna be eating now because not even kidding, it's such a great combo. So thank you guys for suggesting um, mixing these two. It is phenomenal. Now to some tomatoes. So I've been saying, we've been out of organic um, on the vine tomatoes at my store. They just had these the other day. These are the Sweet King Organic, and I've had these before. They are amazing. These are super large tomatoes, but um, have to have tomatoes at all times in my house. I'm a tomato lover, and I eat them in my salads like every single day, so had to get those. Now let's look at some fun stuff. Okay, vegan vanilla cupcakes are officially here. Now the rumor is these are only on the West Coast, so I'm so sorry for those that are in the East Coast. I'm not sure if that's gonna stay true or if they're gonna show up randomly. If you guys are on the East Coast, let me know if you've seen these or if you hear the whispers that they're coming to your store. Um, as of right now though, I'm pretty sure they're just gonna be West Coast only. Um, so. Just maybe write an email to Trader Joe's and request that they show you, they show up at your store if you guys um, aren't on the West Coast because Trader Joe's does listen to all those emails, just so you know. Um, these are topped with sweet rainbow sprinkles, my absolute favorite. How cute are these? These look like little party cupcakes. So these are the nutrition facts on here. So one serving cupcake is a 260 calories and there's 25 grams of sugar in there. So. That is the nutrition facts. And then on the back, I don't want to ruin the sprinkles. 
Um, these do have wheat, by the way, so they're not gluten-free. Here are the ingredients if you guys wanna take a quick screenshot. But yeah, these are gonna be definitely tried in the taste test. I cannot wait to try these. I'm so excited. Those gluten-free ones that have been coming out are not disappointing me at all. They are so amazing, so I'm pretty sure these are gonna be hopefully right down that same um, category of amazing, moist, everything that you want in a cupcake. The raspberry hearts are back. These are the sweet shortbread cookies with raspberry jam center. These are so delicious. I only allow myself one box a year and I actually don't even ever eat the whole box. I mean, my family and I uh, usually will get to the one row and then I'll freeze the rest for later. Um, but yeah, they do freeze well and this is a fun item because it's seasonal So if you guys see it grab it and you won't regret it I also wanted to mention that the pecan Kringle is out again And this is another seasonal product we have for just a couple of weeks If you guys like Kringle, you know, you can freeze that as well It comes in frozen, but I just took a photo of it because I have so many Kringles from purchasing them throughout all the hauls I just can't uh, I can't bear to buy another one and just put it in my freezer. Uh, so I am showing you guys a picture. And if you guys do like this, go ahead and pick it up at Trader Joe's. The price is phenomenal. At $7.99, you really can't beat it. And it is one of those pastries that you don't want to miss out on if you've never had it before. Now moving on to some cake mixes. Uh, yes. Do you guys remember this? The mochi cake mix? I purchased this last year. It's a seasonal item, so if you guys like this, make sure you go grab as many as you need to get you through the year um, because these go fast. Although last year was the first time we had them, so they lasted like a week. This year, they probably will last a little longer. Usually the second rollout of something lasts longer on the shelf because they know the demand for it now. If you guys wanna see how it turns out, I actually made a video last year showing this cake and just describing the texture and everything like that. So if you guys wanna see that, um, I'll link that video in the description below. The coffee crumb cake mix is also back. So this is a seasonal product. This is an amazing product. If you guys like coffee cake, which I love, um, another, another seasonal, so grab this while we have it again and just try to warn you guys because I can't tell you how many times people are like, I missed it, I didn't get it in time. So just grab it if you want it, just grab it when you go. Um, another great mix though. These are brand new. So I've been seeing these all over Instagram. Everyone's taste testing them and trying them. So it's my turn. I'm gonna try them in the taste test tomorrow. These are the dark chocolate drizzled plantain chips sprinkled with sea salt. I'm so excited. I love plantain chips in general. With chocolate, I mean, hello. How can it get any better? Um, here are the nutrition facts in the back. So we have six servings per container. Half a cup is a serving size at 150 calories. Here are the rest of the ingredients, or I'm sorry, here's the rest of the nutrition facts and the ingredients here. It contains milk and soy for those that don't do dairy. These will not be for you. But this will be for you because this is a non-dairy chocolate oat beverage. The um, new oat beverage is in and it is made with cocoa. I'm so, so excited about this as well. Um, I'm hoping this is gonna be a little thicker than the other, um, I think we have like a rice chocolate milk or maybe it's a soy chocolate milk and it's pretty thin. So I'm excited to try this one. This is the nutrition facts here and we will be trying this as well in the taste test. This is new to me. This is the Bodega Pariaso. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, it's a Malbec 2018 Central Valley product of Chile. Um, so I definitely botched the name, guys. Sorry about that. Um, so excited to try it. Malbecs are one of my favorite types of wine. So I definitely want to try this one. And this one I purchased before, the 19 Crimes Cali Red with Snoop Dogg on the front. I was expecting this wine to be more of like a marketing technique to like sell it, sell it because it has Snoop on the cover. But this wine is so delicious. I'm not kidding. I had a customer the other day buying some and I asked her, I'm like, have you tried this yet? And she said, yeah, my friend had it and I picked, I'm, I'm getting another one. I'm like, so you liked it? She's like, I'm so surprised how good it was. And I'm like, I felt the exact same way <laughs> because it's like surprising. You just think it wouldn't be as good as it is and it's just a really good red wine. So if you guys are looking for something new and different, definitely try this one. And I love this matte bottle. It's really nice. Moving on to a brand new item the Aussie style chocolate cream sandwich cookies coated in chocolate. There are 11 cookies in here and 
here is the back. We got two cookies at 180 calories, and then there's the nutrition facts, and the back. So there's milk, eggs, soy, wheat, and coconut in here. So cute, I love the kangaroo. I've been to Australia, it's an amazing place, and very, uh, there are kangaroos all over the place, like there are cows here, which is interesting. We're gonna try these in the taste test. Now let's check out some more new products. So we got the Mrs. Bridges Strawberry Preserve. I'm so excited to try this, and actually Benson's probably gonna love these for his PB&Js. Um, this is, it's a strawberry preserve extra jam. I don't know what that means. Do you guys know what that means? Does it mean there's extra jam in this jar? Um, I don't know, it might be more jammy. Just let me know if you guys know what that means. I'm not familiar with that term. Um, but this is, it looks great. I mean, ingredients, sugar, strawberries, gelling agent, which is fruit pectin, so it is vegetarian. Once open, store in cool area and use within six weeks. No problem, I can do that. Um, so one tablespoon is a serving size at 50 calories, and there are the rest of the facts on there. Um, I love the jar, it's really cute. We also got a brand new honey in. This is the raw and unfiltered Hawaiian macadamia nut blossom and multi-floral honey. Um, so excited to try this. I love everything that comes from Hawaii. It's always so just, I don't know, makes me happy. We were supposed to go to Hawaii last year for our family vacation and obviously got canceled. So this is the next best thing, I guess, is the Hawaiian macadamia nut honey. I'm so excited about this. It's very interesting. Um, it says it's harvested by a family owned um, apiary on Hawaii's big island. It's raw unfiltered honey gathered by bees that forage on the blossoms of macadamia nut trees and tropical flowers. Oh my gosh, that's so amazing. I love that story. Um, and yeah, we're definitely gonna be trying this in the taste test. I'm so excited to try this. Another new product, the Calabrian Chili Tomato Dumpling Soup. It's a tomato soup with dumplings and the Calabrian Chili Peppers. So we're gonna see how this goes. This is vegetarian, I believe. I read the ingredients already once, um, and I'm pretty sure there's nothing meat product in here. So I'm, I get to try this, I'm really excited. Um, there is heavy cream in there though, so if you guys are vegan, I'm sorry. There's milk, eggs, and there's wheat, so not gluten-free, not vegan. We're definitely gonna be trying this in the taste test, and Tim and I will let you know our thoughts on this one. Now for the last couple of things. So, the dry shampoo made its way to my store. This is an exciting product. I haven't tried it yet. I was gonna try it before I shot this video, but maybe I'll try it before the taste test and let you guys know how it is. But it is a, um, let's see, it's apply to roots and massage powder through hair and brush through to distribute evenly. So this one actually has like a pump. This is what it looks like. It has a pump, so you just squeeze it. I'll just squeeze it and I'll show you guys. Here we go. Oh, it shoots out. Oh, that's cool. Really lightweight. Woo! It definitely smells um, very fragrant. Whew, I just, that went right up my nose. <laughs> um, it smells good though. It smells fresh, but it does have a fragrance. So, someone told me it didn't have a scent, but it definitely does. It just does, it smells really nice actually. I really like the scent. It's not overpowering, but it is a very fresh scent and I am in, I inhaled it and I taste it. Um, but yeah, I think this will be great for your hair. I like how it shoots out kind of um, very fine mist. It's not like a shot of baby powder in your hand. Um, and obviously you're shooting this onto the roots of your hair. So I really like the scent. I might have to get another one of these. This is fantastic. All right, moving on to kosher dill pickles. I have been on a pickle kick lately and um, I've already ran out of the other ones that I just bought. So here's a new jar. And then the last thing that Tim requested is the Soft Strawberry Licorice Twist. We haven't bought these in a while because we kind of went on a licorice overload and the berry one is gone now, it's done for the season. So we're back to just the strawberry and Tim wanted these so I grabbed them. So yeah, that's it guys. This is this week's haul minus all the frozen. I put that away already. We're gonna be trying a lot of these things in the taste test so I hope to see you guys over there. All right, I am so excited to start taste testing all these new products, um, and I'm gonna be shooting that video right now. So if you guys don't know, I actually shoot these videos day of. It is Friday for me too, and I get this video out within a couple hours so you guys can see it and then comment on everything right away. 
But while you guys are commenting, I am shooting a taste test. So I'm gonna be heading over to do that very soon and I can't wait to get some of these things in my tummy and see how they go. Um, if you guys are interested in seeing the taste test, go ahead and check it out. It will, it will be out tomorrow. And um, yeah, comment down below what you guys are so excited to try of the new items that just came out this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'd love to have you subscribe if you haven't yet. Give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the taste test. Bye.